All right, I also wanted another candidate. This is this one kind of out of left field a little bit, but, but I think really interesting. It's certainly going to throw a lot of dynamism and I think some um, real discussion, a real debate into the fray. Uh, uh, and that's uh, Vivek Ram, Ram, Ramaswamy. Vivek Ramaswamy. I don't know if you followed Vivek. If you haven't, you should. Vivek is a, a businessman, a former uh, biotech executive. He is the guy that has led the charge against ESG. He founded an investment company that specifically is not ESG, does not invest in ESG companies, and uh, got in a lot of traction, and, and the investment fund is very large. Well, I think he's basically said he's running uh, for uh, the, in the Republican primary uh, to be uh, a presidential candidate. He is, a, a, he is super dynamic, beautifully articulate. You're not going to get any wishy-washy BS from him. He is the antithesis of a politician, but this is the big difference with Trump. Um, super smart, off the charts smart, off the charts articulate, knows exactly what he's saying, um, and, and really engaged. Now, he's Indian, he, he, you know, he's, Vivek is his name, whether American people are ready to elect a Vivek I, Ramaswamy, I, I don't know. Uh, but this guy is interesting. Uh, now, it turns out that I agree with a lot of what he says. And then some things he says, I disagree violently. <laughs> um, but I think he is, he is so radical in many of what he, what he says, even when the bad stuff, but also the good stuff, that he's going to force a real debate. He's going to force a real debate um, uh, in, the, in, uh, in America. I mean, one of his lines is, America has lost sight of the ideals that make it great. So he is explicitly referring to America's past as a great nation and the American principles that made it a great nation. He explicitly refers to the founding fathers and the Constitution and Declaration in terms of the documents that shaped America and shaped American culture. Um, he is definitely, um, uh, so far as I've seen, a, uh, a free marketer um, and, and good on that. I'll get to a few, uh, a couple of things. I mean, there are really only a couple of things that I disagree with him, I, that I know of now. I have a theory that I disagree with him on other things as well, but it'll be interesting to see this. So uh, here are some things that he stands for, right? You know, uh, dismantle affirmative action. I mean, this is a Republican candidate for president saying affirmative action has to go. That's great. Abandon climate religion. That's amazing. This guy's obviously been influenced by Alex, by Alex Epstein. He's probably read Alex's book. Use military, uh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Let's see what else is good. Shut down the Department of Education and other agencies. That's good. Uh, fire most federal bureaucrats and have, I think he wants to have an eight-year term limits on all government bureaucrats. And he says this is just the beginning. He's got lots of other. But then he says things like, so that's the good stuff. And it's not just good. It's very good stuff. Right? It's radical, it's dramatic, it's big, it, it's, 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 it's country-changing in a positive way, not a negative way. Um, and, and he says this in an articulate way, in a passionate way, super charismatic. I've seen him up on stage, not live, but on, on video. He is super charismatic. You want to look at this guy, you want to listen to this guy, you want to pay attention to what he's saying. And then, uh, but this is the stuff I don't like, right? Use military force, the military, to secure the border. So obviously he's anti-immigration in some significant way. How much, I don't know yet. We'll find out. But this one is ridiculous. And decimate the drug cartel. So one of the things he's really running on is, I think, I think uh, uh, Trump has mentioned this, we should use the American military to crush the drug cartels. In other words, we should send the military into Mexico and we should wipe them all out. We should kill them all. We should, we should have a, a, a thing and we should get really, 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 really tough on uh, drug dealers and drug smugglers and drug this. So sadly, he would continue enhance, uh, put on steroids, uh, the war on drugs, which I think is a massive mistake and very, uh, very, very uh, unfortunate. But, uh, you know, uh, um, this is his tagline on his website. Uh, capitalist, capitalist, 
proud capitalist, that's pretty good, capitalist and citizen on a mission to revive excellence in American life. That's pretty good. You know, so while I would love, um, I would love uh, to, uh, uh, you know, I'd love to be able to, to see more from him. I, I, I hope he makes it up on the stage in the debates and articulates these arguments and gives some energy and he'll be the only charismatic guy on the stage. And, um, you know, and really, you know, create, create some uh, a dynamism on stage. So I encourage you to follow Vivek Ramaswamy. Uh, again, some of his views, uh, I think his views on free speech are bad. His views, I think he wants to make political speech a civil right which means force, uh, use the government force to force the digital, comp uh, digital media, the, the, to, to force them to allow all political speech on their platform. And I, in other words, to deny them free speech. I, I think on a number of issues, he's, he's, he's probably very bad. This idea of going to war with the drug cartels is a really, really bad idea. Uh, but on other things, he's super good. And if he can bring that energy and these ideas onto the Republican stage and force them to talk about it and force a dialogue about actual ideas and some of which are very good ideas, that could really change the dynamics of the election. So I'm rooting for Vivek. I'm rooting for him to be on stage. I'm rooting for him to have, to, to have the opportunity to express these ideas to the national audience and to force the Republicans, if you will, to confront and deal with his ideas and confront and deal with, uh, with, uh, with all of these things. So uh, that is my, uh, that's uh, Vivek. So those are my two, uh, um, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see, what do we wanna do now? Um, Yeah, as Moslov says on the chat, um, Vivek was actually on Alex Epstein's Power Hour. Um, and look, I'm not, I'm not endorsing Vivek. I just want him on stage. I want him to bring that excitement to the stage. Um, but uh, uh, put him, you know, and, and, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not endorsing him, but... Uh, at least when it comes to energy, it seems clear that he's been influenced by Alex and on other issues. It's almost like he read maybe my State of the Union address and has taken some ideas from there. I don't think he has. Maybe he's heard some of my talks on capitalism. I would not be surprised at all uh, if he has heard my uh, morality of capitalism talk or my inequality talk or any of my other talks. Uh, so uh, I, 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 I'd be... Surprised if he hadn't, uh, I, think, I think a lot of people have listened to those talks, heard those talks on YouTube. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.